All right, we are here at the Dallas Safari Club convention. We're with Weatherby award-winning hunter and author, Craig Boddington. Craig, thank you for letting hey, us Mike. talk to you today. No problem at all, thanks for stopping by. <sighs> Craig has written, uh, published four books in five years, which <laughs> he called insane, uh, but I think is wonderful because I'm a, I love, love, love his books. Now, what I've asked Craig to talk to us about is his latest book called Buffalo 2, and I wanted you to talk to us about why you wrote this book, what it has in it that your first Buffalo book did not have. Well, because uh, it's been 20 years, right. and, and I'm very happy with, with uh, with the Buffalo book, uh, you know, it's 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 done well. Yes. Uh, we've taken it out of print because we have a new book, and so it's it's gone, and that's right. and that's totally fine, it, part of the plan. But I mean, simple fact is, it's been 20 years, and I realized that that first of all, I'm still very passionate about buffalo. It's still kind of my thing, and I know a lot more now than I did 20 years ago. Uh, right. Specifically, uh, you know, buffalo haven't changed. I mean, right. that's that's just the way it is, but. Uh, I, I really hadn't done a lot of that swamp hunting that we've been, done in Mozambique, and right. I, I've hunted there now, my, my goodness, every year for about the last 15 years. Yes. And so I, I really didn't know much about that hunting. And then I also had done very little hunting of the other buffalo right. when I wrote that first book. And you know, buffalo are buffalo, but, but I mean, there are uh, Nile buffalo up in Uganda, right. and, and that's a great hunt, and I hadn't done that 20 years ago. Right. And then also the the uh, uh, the western buffalo the yes. west africa savanna buffalo and mm -hmm. benin and burkina faso and and of course my nemesis was the dwarf forest dwarf buffalo <laughs> and i had tried to get one uh, had not and have to try again and again and again but i finally got one last year and that was really the impetus for finishing this book is I, right. I I finally got over the hump and and yeah. got that silly little dwarf buffalo but you also talk about uh, water buffalo hunting as well right? yes I mean in Australia and I think in the Philippines yeah we I've hunted them in the Philippines and uh, I'm thinking about going to Malaysia to hunt them it's it's open as well so you know th there are other buffalo in the world uh, right. really there are a lot of other bovines that that are no longer hunted uh, the the gower in Southeast right. Asia and uh, uh, the the Gael, there's there's several and I mean mm -hmm. you know unfortunately they're, they're not endangered they could be hunted but they're just they don't they don't exist in countries that are currently hunted so right. you know there could be future opportunity for some of the other big bovines so I have a quick question are you gonna go back after another dwarf forest buffalo hopefully not <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I scratch that in I I'll probably do more forest hunting I I really enjoy the African forest it's right. it's very very difficult hunting uh, and success is random. I mean, everybody thinks the bongo is so difficult. Right. There's probably 10 bongo for every buffalo in that wow. forest. I okay. mean, the bongo is comparatively easy. Right. I, I certainly don't want to go bongo hunting again, but I never got a forest sitatunga. I never got a Red River hog, and nobody will have all the forest dikers. Right. Nobody will ever have them all. So, right. you know, I'm not completely done in the African, in the African forest, forest, but I will not <laughs> make another safari just for a dwarf forest buffalo. That's done with that. <laughs> well, Craig, thank you so much thank you, my for talking to us. Thanks today. for coming by. It's been a great show, and we got a yeah. few hours yet to go. Absolutely.